Sports. It's the Seahawks and the Giants. Coming up. Nah, 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 nah. What's good with y'all? Hello. Here we are. Back with the running back face of the franchise. It's been a minute. And if you don't recall, as I jump over a tackler or jump over someone on the other team, in the last game, we put the Tampa Bay Buccaneers out the playoffs. We put them out. It was, it was gratifying. The justification of it was amazing because... If you've been following this particular series from the beginning, that was the first team that really dogged us, bro. Like, Madden cheated for that team. Like, Vita Vea was, man, look, man, I'll go, go back and watch it. Bro. That's all I can say to you is go back and watch it. So we got our revenge. I didn't run the football at all that game. It was straight throwing plays, straight receiving yards, receiving touchdowns, no running plays. But I think I only had, like, Maybe 13 yards running that game or 13 yards rushing, however we want to put it. Didn't have that many, but we put them out. But right now we're going up against the New York Giants, Big Blue. And what I'm going to do in this game is, because I know their defense isn't all that great, well, their run defense isn't all that great. I'm going to run it this game. You better believe it. You better believe it. You better believe it. As I try to get into the end zone on that play, and they say, no way. You just tried it. And I'm going to go ahead and try to run for it again. And I keep them legs moving and I'm in the end zone for the touchdown. The first touchdown of the game. And I realized, man, if we're going to go to the Super Bowl, it's going to be on the back of this young man right here. It has to be. Because if you know anything, and I keep relaying or keep, you know, telling us, you know, telling you to go back and look at it. If you've been following this series, you know the struggle is real with this team or with the quarterback because that boy too rock, man. He be tripping, bro. He real deal be tripping. One game he threw like seven picks. Man, we, we just have to keep it moving, bro. We have to keep it moving on the ground. We have to call for the football because if we don't, he's going to throw. Ooh. Made me stop what I was saying, boy. I got truck. But it, we have to call for the football because if not, he's going to make terrible plays. He's going to throw picks. He's going to throw the ball out of bounds while people are wide open. And that was one thing that happened in the game with the Tampa Bay Bucks. It was a lot of wide open plays. A lot of plays where players were wide open and he just threw the ball out of bounds. He just threw the ball incomplete. Like the little animation when they outstretch their arm. Like I hate that. And it was a whole lot of that as I keep my feet running or keep my feet moving. And we pick up the good I'm on the ground. I break one tackle, and I'm across midfield. It's also 7-3 to three if you wasn't looking at but the top. And it's only the second quarter, so it's still anyone's game at this point. But I want to also say this. This guy right here is going to win MVP easily. If he doesn't win MVP, it's going to be a travesty. We're going to boycott Madden. You know, we're going to go in and create a Dat Piff account. We're going to listen to all the Dat Piff albums. I'm just joking, man. Dat Piff got closed down. Dat Piff is no longer there as I'm running. And I'm getting free. I'm in the end zone yet again, man. And this is actually a cool little celebration. Man. I be getting all mad in celebrations. This one is actually pretty cool. But I must still say what I say every time. Madden, take from 2K. Let us create our own celebration. Or give us a list that we can pick from. Like 2K, do. Just saying, man. They Y'all be stealing people's ideals. Steal the good ideals. As there's a flag on the plane, let's see what that's about. 
How you gonna get a holding and we it was it was terrible. The blocking was terrible. I didn't even get anything on that play and you got a holding. But I'm gonna go ahead and get a little lane. I try to bounce it to the outside, but he says absolutely not. We got more than enough. And my X Factor was turned on, but it looked like that hit turned me off. And it looks like I couldn't shake free. It was like I was stuck on him, bro. Like I could not move off of him. It was like gravitational pull. And it ended up being a sack, bro. Fumble. Sack fumble, bro. Come on now, Drew Locke, bro. In some way or another, he's going to turn the football over. One way or another, he's going to turn the football over, bro. Can't even, can't say nothing, bro. He gonna turn the football over. That's one thing he don't do is I truck one guy and then another guy comes in and it seems like they won't allow you to get two trucks in one play. And I'm going to call for it and I almost get free, but the Calvary comes in and help out. And I'm going to call for it again just to get the first down. And I sit down because I'm afraid he may fumble. And that's one thing for sure about it. If you do too many running plays or give the ball to someone too many times, Madden will make sure that you fumble. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down again. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and sit down again. And if I have to, I'll keep doing it all the way up until we get into the end zone. But it's still a close game if you haven't looked up at the top. 14 to 10, and it's still the second quarter. I'm going to go ahead and sit right back down again, bro. We're within field goal range, and we're within the red zone. I'm going to go ahead and try to run it. I'm going to go ahead and try to... Oh, bro, I got sucked right into... The defense, bro. I got sucked right into it. And I'm going to get just enough to get across the first down. A little bit more, but I got the first down. That's all that matters. I cut back in, and I'm close to the end zone, but I don't quite get it. And, bro, that should be a touchdown, bro. And they say I didn't get it, but it's cool, though. And they come in, and they say, yo, look, we tried to get in. We ain't going to allow it. And on fourth down, we go for it, and we gamble, and we end up succeeding. In. Go ahead and do your Dougie. I will edit in the Dougie music, but I don't want this video to get copyrighted. So we're going to just leave it what it is, bro. We're going to leave it exactly what it is. And I go ahead and I truck one guy, and I'm still on my feet, but the Calvary comes in and they stop me from getting any further. I'm going to try to bounce it to the outside, cut in, cut back out. And I try to hit him with a little stiff arm, but they say no. Allow him to tackle you as the two minute warning comes and it goes, but. I just realized the Giants have a weird ass stadium. It's like so overly bland. Like they could have did so much with it being in New York as I get in the end zone on the receiving play. Like they should have made that a dome because who going to want to play a Super Bowl there? Like we think about stadiums, right? When people make stadiums and new stadiums, they're thinking about hosting Super Bowls, bro. In, in some place like New York or New Jersey, it snows in February, bro. And, like, it's just nothing that stands out about this stadium, bro. Like, I was running my mouth that I had to, uh, just, just blocking the back shit, bro. I was just playing the cornerback face of the franchise, and they did the same play to me, and no one called it. But let me do it, and it's just blocking the back, bro. Madden cheats for itself. We already established that. But my X Factor is turned up. And you know what happens when the X Factor is turned up. As a running back, you start getting those extra plays. You start falling forward. You start trucking people. And on that play, but I didn't get too much of nothing. But I got enough to get the first down. And I run right past one guy. And again, I fall forward. And we picking up a lot of yards on the ground. And I break a lot of tackles. And I keep my feet moving. And I almost get the first down. We didn't quite get it, but I shake one free because he thought he was going to get me with an arm tackle and we're almost within the red zone and i believe we're going to get it on this play absolutely and we get a lot more oh juked him about his draws stop playing with me man they say man i'm just a dude who run through you nah man i'll juke you too bro watch out man this, this, this the feet work is immaculate believe that believe that and we had to see the replay when I shook him out his draws, bro. And I'm going to go ahead and try to run in. And I run right into a defensive lineman. But on this play, it's a big lane. And I'm back in the end zone yet again. That is a reoccurring event for me being in the end zone. We're up 34 to 10. And it looks like we're starting to take off. Let's see if they go down and score. And they do not. Which is, which is kind of wild, bro. And I break one. And I might. Oh, I feel like this might have been the one that we got free on. But it didn't work out. And we are beating the brakes off these boys, man. Beating the brakes off them. I thought maybe this game would be a lot closer. 
but it's not, bro. It really isn't. The last game with the Bucks was more. I don't know what the last. Well, the last game with the Bucks was more close, but this game isn't you know anywhere close. Like our defense is doing pretty well as they allow seven points, but the running game is immaculate, bro. Like normally, I have to just do throwing plays because we can't run. Like we just can't run Madden. All Madden defense with certain teams is just, you know, unbearable. Like, you can't get anything on the ground. And there's some teams where you can get a lot on the ground. And this is one of the teams. Like, the Bucks, on the other hand, you can't run shit against them. Like, you can't run anything against that team. It's like they're always in the perfect position. They're always beating their, get the, fuck their, their, their the person to get into the backfield. Especially Vita Vea, man. That boy's in the backfield like Aaron Donald, man. And we know he's not a sack master, bro. He's just a run stopper. And I would understand if he stopped the run more so, but he's like in the backfield getting sacks, getting tackles in the backfield when he's really just a run, like a hole stopper, bro. As I try to juke him and I push the boy out of bounds, man. I say, you know what, since you want to come at that angle, I'm going to assist you on out of bounds. And I don't get any type of animation on this play. He gets me in the backfield. I'm going to go for it again. And the arm tackle gets me on this one. It's like, bro, they can shed off. I can't shed. Well, I'm going to leave this, but they can shed. And he gets in the backfield and get a sack on Drew Locke. He's laying on the ground like a bum. Like a bum. And I'm going to go ahead and cut up the middle. My legs are moving. And I'm almost at the first down mark. I'm going to go ahead and bounce it out a little bit. I get enough to get the first down and some more. Yes, sir. Because that's all that matters, bro, is getting the first down at this point. Like, we are in a lead that I don't think that they can come back from with the amount of time that's on the clock. So right now it's just burning clock. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. Run the football and burn clock. And if they allow me to keep getting runs like this, it's going to be over real quick, real soon. And again, we're going to go with another running play. I squeeze, I get little, and I pick up about five, four or five. And I'm going to go ahead and go with another running play. And I'm just going to keep the ball on the ground. Hopefully the he doesn't fumble. At this point, if he does fumble, it doesn't matter, bro. It is 37 to 17. We are up by 21 of them things. 21. 21. 21. 21. We are up by 21, bro. So we just going to keep running it. And they take me out. They put me back in. And we're going to go again with a running play. It's going to be this. You know, it's the same thing. I believe we probably got like 40 carries today, bro. And the way that we're running the football, I'm sure that our average is over five yards per carry, which is a really good average per carry, bro. Six will be immaculate, but I believe we're over five. And I know for a fact we're over four. We, you better not size me with no four because we are getting big plays or we're at least picking up about 10 per. And then the ones that we don't pick up 10 on, it just averages out. So this is a great game, even though it was run heavy, carry heavy. Look, plays like this. This is the reason why the average is probably looking very immaculate. And I'm going to go ahead and run it again. And we're just trying to burn the rest of the clock and move on to the next round, baby. We only got one more game until we're in the Super Bowl. Two more games before we're Super Bowl champs. And again, I told y'all when the season ends, I'm leaving. But look at the stats, bro. I told y'all 5.7 per carry, bro. And we got over 50 carries, bro. Holy smokes. No fumbles for your boy. And that's all that matters, bro. No fumbling.